RMS value is a very important term that we should know. If you measure the voltage that you are getting at your home, the value you will get is a RMS value. And there are lot of other examples of RMS value. But the question here is what is the exact meaning of RMS value? In this video, we are going to discuss about that only. And by the end of this video, you will have a very clear idea about the RMS value. So to know more about it, you need to watch the video. Hello and welcome on my channel. My name is Gaurav J. I am an electrical engineer and a content creator. On this channel, I post videos related to electrical engineering in easiest way. So if you are interested, make sure you subscribe to the channel and also click on the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. Now let's talk about the RMS value. We know that the voltage or current in case of DC system never changes its direction. At every instance, it is constant. I have a detailed video on DC. You can check that out. Link is in the description. Since the voltage and current are constant in DC circuits, calculating power, voltage or current is very, very easy. Consider the example shown. Let's say we have a 10 volt DC source which is connected to a bulb and the current flowing through the circuit is 2 ampere. From this, we can easily calculate the power drawn by the bulb by simply multiplying the voltage with current and that will give us 20 watts. And this is the power taken by the bulb at any instance in the circuit. Now I will change the DC source with AC. And in AC, as we know, voltage and current are alternating in nature. That means voltage and current are no more constant. I also have a detailed video on AC. Link is in the description. The value of voltage and current in AC will change continuously. For easy understanding, we will only consider the voltage waveform. Let's say the peak value of the voltage is 20 volts. Peak value means the maximum value. Now, voltage at this particular instance is zero. After some time, it will reach to 5 volt. After some time, it will go to 10 volt and then to the peak value of 20 volts. Again, after some time, it will reduce to 10 volts, then 5 and then to zero. Now, this complete the half cycle. The interesting thing is that the voltage also goes to the negative side that is negative 5, negative 10 and then the negative peak of 20 volts. Then again it will reach to negative 10 volt then negative 5, 0 and the cycle will continue. Now to calculate the power in this AC circuit can we consider the peak value of voltage that is either positive 20 volt or negative 20 volt. Or can we consider positive 5 volts or negative 5 volts? Well, the answer is no. If you consider 20 volts or 5 volts or any other value from this waveform, it will lead to a wrong calculation. Because the value is only true for some particular time. After that time, the value is different. So you can see here 20 volt is remaining only for highlighted time. After that, the value is different. Well, things get worse when we compare two different waveforms. For example, if we are comparing sine wave with square wave, the sine wave will have its peak value for short time than the square wave. And hence, the effect of these two AC voltages powering the same load would be different. So, considering the peak to peak values or any other value for calculation is not a good idea and it will definitely lead to wrong calculations. So we need a solution for this. We need a term which will give us the effective value of AC quantities which we can consider for power calculation and which will remain true for most of the time. Fortunately, we have a solution for that. There is a method to calculate the effective value in AC circuits. And how do we do it? Just using these four simple steps. So step number one, divide the waveform in equal section. Simply mark the points uh, on equal distance as shown. 
to understand we will consider only half cycle you can of course uh, do it for second half cycle if you want so the mark values are shown here now step number 2 take the square of each value simply take the square of each value that we have just marked step number 3 take the mean or the average simply take the average of all the values and then the final step step number 4 square root simply take the square root of the final value now the value that we have is the effective value of ac voltage and this is called as rms value that is root mean square value so in our example the peak value is 20 volts where the effective value or the rms value is 14.14 volt this 14.14 volt ac is equal to the 14.14 volt dc which means rms value is equivalent to its dc value and of course we can use the rms value for power calculation purpose because it is the effective value of ac by the way if you are finding the video helpful do click on the like button let's see if we can have a thousand likes on this video to get things more clearly consider the example shown here we have two different sources one is of 10 volt rms ac and another one is 10 volt dc these sources are connected to the bulb who has a resistance of 2 ohms in case of dc circuit power dissipated is 50 watt but what about ac as the 10 volt is a rms value we can take it for power calculation purpose and power dissipated by ac circuit will also be 50 watt if the source says 10 volt peak then the power taken by load would not be 50 watts it will be something different but it says rms value so definitely it's an effective value which we can directly take for power calculation and if you consider 10 volt peak for power calculation purpose then it will give you the wrong result because the peak value that is 10 volt remains only for short period of time and hence we need rms value or the effective value for precise calculations rms value is the best way to calculate the effective value of ac system for instance for calculating size of cable considering the rms current measurement is always helpful but for considering insulation in high voltage ac application peak value shall be considered rather than rms value rms value peak value average value will change with different waveforms these values will be different for sine wave for square wave for triangular wave etc to make things more easy we also have a formula to calculate rms value or peak value so we do not need to perform all the four steps every time and the formula is given by this remember this value remains true only for pure sine wave so if it is a square wave then this formula will not be applicable so we can also calculate the rms value in our example using the formula and which will give us 14.14 volts so to summarize rms value is an effective value of ac quantities which needs to be considered for different types of calculation and assumption and it is also equivalent to its dc value do let me know in the comment section where do we use rms value what are the different examples of rms value do let me know that via comments so I hope you understood what is the RMS value and its importance. If you find the video helpful, then do share it with your friends and also do like the video. So that's all for this video guys. I'll see you in my next one. But till then, keep watching, keep learning.